Hello, it's Roberto again with a oracle reading. This time it's from, well again, from the Healing with the Fairies deck. Let's see, that's a Doreen Virtue deck. So let me go ahead and shuffle, see what the cards have for us today. Hope you had an amazing eclipse. We're still under the influence of the super... <laughs> okay, so... The super blue blood moon. So I had a card fall out. And I was just, I have to show you this. To get prepared for this reading, I actually was playing my guitar. I was still feeling kind of, I don't know, kind of anxious, nervous. And it says make music. That's literally what I was doing just to prepare for this reading. Um, Last night, I had pretty intense dreams, had this kind of intense argument, and it was a repetition of something that happened to me already. So, but it was in a different situation, and this is the second time it's come up uh, in the last week. So this time, it was a different situation, but still it was like, get out of my life, like get away from me, like I don't want this drama, I don't want this these issues. Um... There was this point in the dream where this person disappeared and then went into the bathroom and then came out and actually came out looking very different. It was like a taller person and completely different ethnicity, you know, just looked very different, had glasses, very kind of kind and non-threatening. <laughs> you could call it kind of nerdy. But, and then the actual person came out from the came in to the room again, but this time from the outside. So the person that was in the, in the bathroom walked out, went outside, and then came back in looking like the original person. But this time the person was very different. It was a totally different relationship. It was like we were buddies. He ended up actually bringing tons of food, like he ordered tons of food and like basically like a buffet, like a whole restaurant was, was being brought into the room. Um, so that was really kind of bizarre, I guess, because I was still c conscious, aware in the dream that this person was acting very radically. So I was a bit confused and wary, like, um, is this for real? Is this person going to turn around and, and be a jerk again? The dream ended without any other incident, so I think I, I woke up still feeling a little bit like cautious so preparing for this video my second on on camera on screen shuffle um was i was feeling even more nervous about doing it just because of that energy so anyway i was just singing a song and i definitely have to post it now i have to record it and share it with all of you and it's called Silly Game. But anyhow, so let me go ahead and read this for all of you. And I'm going to get the guidebook. Make music. So if you are a musician or, or inclined to singing or anything like that, this is a sign to get to it, get on it. It's a way to release whatever type of emotional energy that might still be lingering around especially if it's a song or music that relates to your your issue or whatever might be going on. Okay, so let me collect myself here. It says here, music lifts the soul to new heights. It alters your mood and your outlook. The fairies play music at their celebrations because they know its therapeutic value. By drawing this card, you are guided to surround yourself with music. Any type of music that will stir, stir your soul is appropriate. The fairies are especially fond of joyful, fast-paced music because it stimulates a festive mood. Play music yourself or have music playing around you for the next few days and notice how your mood and energy levels elevate. You may find that you are drawn to new types of music or to a genre of music that you enjoyed a long time ago. Make note of any songs that you repeatedly hear on the radio or in your mind. 
The lyrics or the memories evoked by the song could contain a message for you that will answer a particular question you may have. It also offers, the guidebook offers an affirmation and the affirmation is, deep within my soul, I now accept and experience the healing power of music. Deep within my soul, I now accept and experience the healing power of music. Whew. So that hits home for me, like, so much. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say bye with a little bit of guitar playing. So the song I was playing is kind of joyful, but the lyrics are definitely somber and nostalgic and emotional and stuff. So I'll play it, the full version, in a little bit. I have to be kind of quiet for now. Um, I want to meditate a little bit, but I'm going to be back with a video <laughs> so you can all hear the song. Okay, well, I'm wishing you a wonderful day. Whatever kind of music you're into, get, get to it. Whatever mind negative self-talk that might come up today, offer it to the music, work it out, dance it out, cry it out. I like to sometimes play music if I'm feeling very emotional so I can allow myself, you know, I get self-conscious sometimes about crying out loud, I guess, so uh, the music helps to mask the whimpers or whatever. It just helps me feel more comfortable about it and, you know, it doesn't have to be like that all the time, but it's definitely a wonderful healing tool that I recommend for anyone. If you're doing meditation, that's an, another wonderful way to get yourself into that space. So there's tons of stuff on YouTube. I'm sure you can find something Reiki, healing music, or relaxing music. Anything, you know, piano, relaxing music, and you'll find a lot of wonderful, wonderful content. Wishing you, again, a great day, and... Love you. Bye.